The P20 and P20 Pro rivaled the likes of the Samsung Galaxy 9, the 9 Plus, the Pixel 3 XL, and all the iPhones. So we're expecting the P30 and P30 Pro to compete very well with the recently released Samsung Galaxy 10 and 10 Plus. Yes, we expect Howie or Huawei, depending on where you're from, don't judge, to continue the trend of pretty much pushing out as much technology for the cheapest price in all their smartphones. So today we're gonna to be going over the P30 Pro rumors. We've already talked about the P30 in a different video, link in bio. Before we get into the 30 Pro, I want to first say that we are expecting two phones, but there could possibly be a third one. And the reason I say that is because back in September, Apple released three new phones with the mm -hmm. XR, the XS, and XS Match, Max, I'm sorry. And then Samsung just recently released three new Samsung Galaxy 10 phones. So Huawei could be working on a third phone to go along with the P30 and P30 Pro. One of the coolest things that I'm looking forward to on these new smartphones is the added cameras. I saw rumors about the P30 Pro having four cameras. Yeah, there it has been some rendered and some leaked images, but what's most, I think, confirmed about having a fourth camera is some of the phone cases have been leaked. And yeah. you can clearly see that that looks like, unless it's a big footprint, it looks like there's gonna be an imprint of four mm -hmm. cameras in the back or the rear of the phone. Now, usually case manufacturers get a model of the phone or a 3D rendering of the phone beforehand to make cases for the phones when they come out. Now, the fourth camera, you know, they're gonna have their standard, the super wide angle lens, as well as a telephoto. The fourth camera is rumored to be another standard lens to help with augmented reality. I see that's a big trend in 2019. A few more rumors associated with the fourth lens on the back of the camera, one, the P20 Pro has a 40 megapixel camera. Now it is rumored that the P30 Pro will downgrade slightly to a 38 megapixel mm -hmm. camera, which is Sony's new, new camera lens, which is supposed to be optimal for low light illumination, similar to what we see on the Google oh. 3 XL. So you think they're gonna have a dedicated lens just for night mode? It's possible. Now this is different than what Google is doing. Google does a software based night mode, whereas this would be a physical night mode lens, which is going to be pretty cool. I never mm -hmm. thought about that. It is also rumored that one of the lenses may have up to 10 times of optical zoom, Ooh. which would be incredible. So do you think the standard lens will be the 38 megapixel one? It's possible. And then the Could telephoto. Could you use that as like a daily, like a photo you take regularly? Yeah, I mean, 38 megapixels give you so much freedom to edit and do post-production with, which I think will be useful to a lot of people. So they're planning on having, from what I hear, the standard lens with 38 megapixels, a telephoto times two, a telephoto times 10, and then an ultra wide. These are all rumors. So we're not sure if, if they're actually gonna have the 10 times optical zoom or the 38 megapixel camera, mm -hmm. but it'd be pretty cool to see. No, it would be very cool. On the Huawei Mat P20 Pro, they did feature the partnership with Leica, which we expect them to carry over to the P30s and the P30 Pro. We are expecting the P30 and P30 Pro to be unveiled at Huawei's Mar end of March event. Mm -hmm. And they actually tweeted about this, showing a picture of the Eiffel Tower, so it's gonna be in Paris, with the hashtag P30, and then rewrite the rules. So we are very curious to see what they are gonna unveil mm -hmm. just shy of a month away. Like we saw on the, the Mate, there is a very small teardrop of a notch. Yes. As opposed to where you see in the iPhone, which is a big notch, and other phones mm -hmm. like the Pixel, which is kind of like an ugly notch and has got a lot of bad rep. So the teardrop could be kind of cool. Now, does that compete with Samsung's Infinity O? I kind of think so. It's less yeah. noticeable. It's more symmetric. Yeah, it's more you barely notice it. It's just like a little tiny, I mean, it's not It's not like this notch. Look at this notch. A big notch. It's a massive notch. We don't know if they're gonna be featuring two selfie cameras, which you do see on the Pixel 3. That would be kind of interesting how they would change the teardrop if they would change it. Mm -hmm. They would make it more into like a, a rectangular shape mm -hmm. as opposed to kind of like a teardrop look. Yeah, it'd still be very small. We are also expecting there to be in-screen fingerprints mm -hmm. to log in and unlock your phone. Yep, similar to what they had on the Mat or Mate P20 Pro. They had the in-screen fingerprint reader. Now, it is an optical one, not an ultrasonic that Samsung uses. It's still pretty quick, still pretty accurate. The display, which is probably one of the most important parts of any smartphone, is going to be an OLED panel, and it will be slightly larger than six inches. We're not too sure on the size yet, 
you know, the P20 Pro was just a bit bigger than the P20. We're also anticipating the resolution to be 1080 by 2340. Yep, decent, decent size. Not quite QLED like you see on the Samsungs, but still a high resolution panel. We are expecting the operating system to be Android's 9.0, yep. but Huawei's version of it, which is EMUI. Yeah, it's like a skin they put on top of it. Price-wise, the P20 Pro was about $1,000 American, maybe a little bit more than that for the base model. So we are expecting it to be somewhere in that ballpark, probably a little bit higher actually, just yeah. because it's a new model with new new specs and new features. We're also expecting the processor to be Huawei's Kirin 980 chipset, mm. which is pretty fast. It probably compares slightly to Snapdragon 845, mm -hmm. but does it compare to the new Snapdragon 855? We'll have to wait and see. Not entirely sure because Snapdragon 855 is supposed to be a beast. Huawei did say that in 20. 19, they will be implementing 5G networking into their smartphones. Now, we're not too sure if it's the P30, P30 Pro, or the Mate variants of the phones, but sometime in 2019, they will have it added. And it's kind of to be expected too, because Samsung just released or unveiled mm -hmm. their phone, the, the Samsung Galaxy Fold and their, their 5G line, which are 5G compatible. Yeah. So we're expecting Huawei to do that, hopefully earlier in the year rather than later. These are all the rumors that we have for the P30 Pro. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Let us know in the comments below if you want us to check out any rumors. And of course, subscribe if you're new.